so I guess that's me. All right, everybody on YouTube, don't be afraid to hit that super chat. Your boy is still rolling. But in it, okay, the context of it is you're going after every instance of evidence that they state they have against you or everything that they believe they have against you. So when you're looking at the accusation, it's not only something that you're accepting of what it is that they're saying, but you're challenging what it is that they're doing, everything that goes along with it. And the one thing that I liked about it is you have the guy that played um, Captain America. And he he's a former district attorney in this. And he was originally the person that was on the case. What happens is, I'm trying not to get too deep into it, but someone close to him was charged with the crime. And when you go through the constructs of that, he was too close to the situation, so they took him off. And because of who it was, he ended up leaving the job. Now, what happens is, now he understands the tactics. Well, one of the things he talked about was he had hired someone to protect this other person. And in the means of doing that, he was asked by a young lady, Say, well, isn't this attorney the best? The statement that he made from that I thought was like uber interesting, simply because he stated even the best attorneys have limitations. The reason why they have limitations, the reason why they have restrictions placed upon them is because everybody that has a bar card, that is a bar member, they are on the same team. And their first obligation while it should be to their clients, it should be to their duties, it's actually to the club that they are members of. So within that restriction, they're only allowed to go so far. So when you're looking at, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to hold this, I'm going to hold that, the confines actually tell them that they can only go this far. This is why you have me, the asshole that informs you of what it is and the power of being pro se. The power of pro se is understanding, as I, I used to always say, I know who my father is. And by knowing who my father is, I understand who I am. Now, now understanding, I gave the, I gave the context to a young lady the other day, is... The prosecutor has an oath to the defendant. The person that is defending the defendant or representing the defense has an oath to the defendant. Why? Because they're either appointed, they have an oath that they took for that duty, or they've taken payment. The judge in this case has an oath to the defendant. The police officer that started all this had an oath to the defendant. So everyone in the courtroom is working for the defendant. The problem is most of us have no idea how that construct lies within each and every one of us. And many of us have no idea how to actually control our own fates within doing this. These are the issues that we're having on a regular. It's getting the mindset and understanding how powerful you really are. And this is where I talked about allowing your light to shine. What most people don't know is something that I've given you. You have to be able to stand up for you. You have to know you because knowing you is part of the battle. Knowing you is part of the context of what's needed to go farther. And I often tell people I don't deal with scared. If you're doing something and you're scared of doing it, if you're scared of what may happen. I often speak about um, Paul. Paul spoke about the context of the thing that I fear the most have come upon me. Now, what happens is, again, I spoke about it in...